I'm going to be organizing Americano tournaments. These are tournaments where eight people play and have seven matches. We have to play with each individual player and against every other player twice. So once with everyone and twice against everyone. And there are apps that do this, but one weird thing that I wanted to do was as these tournaments unfolded like once a week, I wanted to capture the score each time. And so capturing the score, actually, I was like, oh, let's just do it in a Google Sheet. And I have all the name and the score. I'm going to use unique to grab all the names. And I'm going to sort with the sort formula. Automated scoring system, keeping track of every name here. And I was like, wait, to get the scores though, I have to type the scores here from an app result. So I was like, let me just make the tournament itself score. So this is for paddle. It's a, like a mini, not a mini tennis, it's a different style of tennis and squash and stuff. Like always played in doubles. So you see court one here, round one is this player versus this player. Now I have filled this with four different automations. One, which is just formulas. Two, which is a custom menu up here. Three, it's a button, an image with a button here. And four, I have on the settings a checkbox that does the automation as well. And I will explain why I do each and every one of these because they are all are for different reasons. Different people are using this kind of sheet all the time. So one, I'm on my laptop or rather a desktop computer, right? A laptop style computer. And I can do all of these. Not every version of Google Sheets can do all of these automations. I will explain which ones do which. But first I want to walk you through the sheets and the formula automations. And this you might not think is automation, but is pretty darn magical in Sheets. So I have created a place where we create player names here. And we just add the player, just say, here's Andrew, here's Betty, here's Carl. And I don't know if you can see over on the right, David, Edna, Frank, Gary, and Hector. But here on the right, all of these names are changing. So I do not have to copy paste these names anywhere. I don't have to create the matchups. The matchups are already created. Here's Andrew and Betty. Here's Andrew and Hector. Here's Betty and David. They're all here. I have quote unquote automated this with these formulas. And this is just formula re references to the cells. That is it. I have created each of these rounds. I did actually get a, not a random generator, but I did find an Americana generator. I was working on this for quite a while, trying to generate these matchups myself with some JavaScript, and it just wasn't working. So what I did is I just went onto the app, created one tournament, and then whatever format that was, I hard-coded each of these in. And so now we can, but we can randomize this by taking this range here and go up to data and randomize range. And now these cell references are going to stay. But it's this range that is, and it, you see the matchups are now different. But everybody plays with everybody once and against everybody twice. So you see Edna, David, Hector, and you can always double check this. And it's always seven rounds if it's eight players. With nine players, it is one person is resting or out each round, but it is still a uh, number of rounds, nine rounds, in fact, this time. But again, everybody plays with everybody once and against everybody twice, but you also rest one of the rounds. We are creating these tournaments once a week or even twice a week maybe and I didn't want to create as many tabs as we knew we would have we would just create them on the fly and that's where the automation comes in really handily I added an image where I inserted image over cells and I just drew this I actually created this from two shapes a, a circle and a plus sign to have this thing and in my app script I have already new tournament eight, which takes today's date and it creates a copy of the template eight and adds new and then the date so that we always have the date automatically there. That function also is in this menu. Actually, I just added it two more. So let's refresh and when it opens, it will be new. So first I created this on open menu here, but this on open menu does not show up on mobile and these images do show up on mobile. But these images do not have the assigned script and you actually can't click on image. But if you say option, actually command, and just assign script here, you can actually see it happening. We hit command and then hit assign script. It's new tournament eight. So it's gonna run that function anytime it's clicked and it's clicked and it did it right here. But this image shows up in mobile, but the button is not clickable. So what is a clickable button to run an automation? So already we've automated the rounds, we can randomize these rows, but now we create a new tournament. On mobile, we may have to duplicate this or do those steps by hand, rename it, put in the date, but we don't really want to. We want to have an automation that just does it for us. 
So what I did is I created a settings page that has a checkbox, and now a checkbox is checkable on mobile. And so someone who wants to create a, temp a copy of the template and run this eight-player tournament, they can go to this checkbox, it checks, it will duplicate the template, rename it, and it will uncheck the box. So we can look at our app script again and see that. So instead of this function running here, I created an onEdit function. And now an onEdit function, there can only be one. It's a simple trigger. You literally type onEdit, but there can only be one. And so I wanted two options here. The nine player will copy the nine player template and rename it. There it is over on the right. Because we have the name already, this new, it will not rename it. But we can also, you can see, let's delete it or rename it. If we rename it, it will happen. But how this works is we use if statements to gatekeep, to say, hey, if the active range is B2, meaning the checkbox we're checking, if it's B2 on the settings page, making sure the sheet spreadsheet dot app.getActive sheet.getName is equal to settings, if it is, and then do this, which is going to be copy the template eight, and then also uncheck the value here, active range. If it's before, we're going to actually create template nine. We're going to duplicate template nine, and then again, set value to false, so we're unchecking it. This also is, you can do uncheck here. I think that'll work as well. Check. So let's double check that the uncheck works. It will create our copy and uncheck it. Yep. And then say this was actually a week ago or on the 15th. And now we're going to create a nine one, nine player one, click the button. It will create the copy, rename it and uncheck it. So we can use uncheck as well or set value to false. Either one works. If you are a Better Sheets member watching this on Better Sheets, down below is this exact sheet with all of these functions, all of the app script waiting for you. You can use this. It's really cool. I will walk through one of these. Let's say we have scores. Just put the scores over here. Maybe you have a scores out of 16, so it's like 12, 12, 4, 4, 12, 24, or 10, 6, sorry, 10. You have to put the score for each individual person. It's just the way that I set it up. So it's a bit of doubling. But as you can see, as I type it, the leaderboard is automatically sorted. Right, and these scores are automatically calculated. So if we get to the end of the tournament, let's just put these randomly here. We see, oh, Gary wins. So let's say, can Gary, let's give him a little different score. There we go, by one point. Gary wins by one point. Now we can take either the leaderboard or this one, doesn't matter the order, and put it in monthly, just copy paste values. And now automatically these are there. If it's different people or it's the same, folks each time you can put their scores each time and it will automatically sort find all the unique players and then automatically sort them so a lot of cool automations in this sheet makes it super easy to use again i made it very clear to be used on desktop laptop and mobile maybe on an ipad as well if you can click the image buttons great if you can't click the image buttons we got you we got you on the settings we can create a new template we can copy this template just by checking the box that's really cool and i hope you enjoyed this americana tournament with four automations